back like and hope you guys are well welcome to another vlog right now it is about quarter past 12 midnight on monday the 18th of april I'm going to sleep for a few hours because i'm gonna be up at 3 a.m to catch my flight to lanzarote for my first ever solo trip abroad like literally it's gonna be my birthday on tuesday the 19th of april and yeah i've actually been on my stories asking people for tips and advice as a solo traveler received so much help from you guys those of you who follow me on instagram and saw my stories like it's been so helpful because i've been feeling a little bit like i don't know how i feel i feel excited but i also feel nervous at the same time because i'm excited that i'm going on holiday and it's going to be my birthday and i'm going to be in my bikini and i can just chill um but i'm also nervous that i'm going to be by myself like i'm going by myself i'm not meeting anyone at the airport i'm not meeting anyone at the destination like i'm literally gonna be by myself so yeah to be honest it's a solo trip but it's not completely a solo trip because i'm bringing you guys along with me yay <laughs> my flight is at 10 to 8 in the morning i got a email from ryan air saying that they advise getting to the airport three hours early just in case if there are any delays like security delays or something like that I have no idea what that means but i'll go and do that anyway oh i'm gonna do that anyway i was gonna do that anyway i'm gonna do that anyway because that's how i am because I have airport anxiety ever since I missed my flight a couple years ago for Natanya's birthday I've had airport anxiety ever since there's a story time on my channel about why I missed that flight I've always been very like anxious when it comes to going to the airport because I'm just like I just feel unsettled until I'm at the airport checked in all of my stuff gone through security I'm literally not at ease even like up until like I get onto the plane and I sit down that's when I feel like okay I made it <laughs> I made it on my flight so everything leading up to there up to then like even now like I have anxiety I may be hiding it really really well but I was gonna get to the airport three hours early anyway <laughs> because i ain't trying to miss no flight okay so yeah i i've been getting to the airport ridiculously early ever since that time and since i've had my anxiety so yeah and i'm actually driving myself to the airport for the first time ever um usually my brother takes me to the airport he's so good like he's always picking me up from the airport dropping me to the airport but on this time around he's actually away in thailand with his wife and family so i am going to drive myself to the airport park at the airport parking and just leave my car there till i get back to park my car at the airport is like 75 pounds now to get an uber to the airport is about 60 pounds from my house so 60 pounds there and 60 pounds back that's 120 pounds so yeah i am packed i'm ready to go and i'm actually gonna sleep before i go and catch my flight that, that's a new thing hopefully i wake up <laughs> hopefully i wake up and don't miss my flight because that's also an irrational fear of mine that's probably why i always tend to leave packing to lastminute.com and then i just end up staying up the night before my flight and just not sleeping at all and ended up sleeping on the airplane but today i'm gonna sleep for a couple hours set my alarm i don't think my anxiety will allow me to even oversleep anyway <laughs> i will catch you guys at the airport <laughs> Well, it's hot still, but it's a nice warm breeze, but it's a nice breeze. Four hours later, I'm here in Lanzarote. Had a decent flight. I had pre-booked my transfer, and I think that's one of the good tips 
when traveling solo is pre-book all of your transfers to and from the airport so I'm just here waiting for my transfer to be ready to go there's a few other people on the same bus as me so this big purple number 32 bus and it's like a bus station of all different um, transfer shuttles. The driver is basically just waiting for more people to arrive that are supposed to be getting this bus for their transfer to the hotel. So, yeah, I'm excited. I feel like now that I'm here and I've landed, I feel more at ease. I'm less anxious. I'm excited to get to the hotel, get to my room get this party started okay get this trip started okay. and it's my birthday tomorrow okay <laughs> it's my birthday tomorrow so we're gonna turn up we're gonna turn up well i'm gonna be turning up by myself what with you guys as well <laughs> to the hotel i'm at barcelo tegas beach hotel i don't know if i'm even pronouncing that right barcelo tegas tegas you guys would have seen how it's spelled anyway it's a four-star hotel in costa tegos one of the areas in lanzarote i particularly picked this area because it said that it was more warmer on this side of lanzarote but yeah i'm gonna give you guys a bit of a room tour the room is very different to any kind of hotel room i've ever stayed in but yeah let me show you guys so as you walk in we have a sink <laughs> we literally have an open plan bathroom sink and it's got a mirror up here um this is so different like i've never seen anything like this before like the mirror is just chilling and the bathroom sink is just chilling like just here floating but it looks really really cute and then we have the shower over here which allows you to see through to the other side which is where the bedroom area is by the way this is actually an adult only hotel so i can see why but yeah this is the shower and then through here we have the toilet you know just a basic toilet do you know what i mean when i first came in i was actually thinking why is there not a full length mirror in this hotel room i thought that this sink mirror was the only mirror that was in here but then i realized that the door for the toilet is actually a whole full length mirror so if i close the door for the toilet there's a whole massive full length mirror situation going on because i was about to say like it is 2022 why is there not a full length mirror in the hotel room this is actually a very cool concept like a sliding door that doubles down as a massive full length mirror and then just over here we have this massive like let me show you guys from here so on this side there's a massive wardrobe which has a lot of space in it got shelving here you can put your suitcase down there and then got hangers got an ironing board and an iron which is fantastic the safe and some more drawers down there and then there's space up there as well to put stuff and then through here the main bedroom area which is giving very much orange which is nice um the bed is huge there's the other side of the shower right there i've got some beach towels here the phone and everything I've got a hair dryer a little mini bar down there I've got a little couch and then on this side is the tv and like a seating area with coffee and all that jazz lamp there in the corner very cute indeed and then i think this is my favorite part let's go out onto the balcony or the terrace we have some lounge chairs a little table and this is the view that I have. Very cute indeed. Look guys, I have a jacuzzi. I'm definitely getting into this. I have this massive jacuzzi all to myself. Yes. 
yes <laughs> it's actually giving me vacation vibes honestly but yeah it's very very cute very lush so far riding solo on this holiday has been pretty okay like it kind of feels like i'm waiting to meet someone or i'm waiting for someone else to be here but then it's like my brain keeps telling me it's just you <laughs> it's such a weird thing do you know what i mean it feels like i'm on my way to go and meet someone at some place and then i have to remind myself that no like you're literally just on your way to a destination and that's it like it's you by yourself at this destination but yeah it's just really strange i feel good i feel great i feel excited i want to go out and just explore the hotel grounds know where the pool is know where the beach is like just have a walk around to kind of scope the area scope the environment and just see what's around and how to get to different parts of the hotel so that's what i'm gonna do now i feel like i want to jump in a shower because i feel hot and sticky i've been wearing this jumpsuit thing since bloody three o'clock this morning it's about two o'clock in the afternoon now so yeah i'm gonna quickly jump in the shower oh and of course unpack my suitcase as well for someone that is staying here for three nights i actually have quite a lot of things in my suitcase so i want to unpack some things because i want to get some content done i have work to do as well so i have content for brands that i need to do so i thought i might as well use this opportunity to get that done as well i don't actually have like an itinerary for myself or what i'm going to be doing on each day but i think i might try and plan something for tomorrow tomorrow's my birthday so i need to like just sit down i was trying to do this stuff at home before i came here but i just feel like i'd rather just be here and then just see what's going on one of the good things i'm feeling right now is that i'm on my own time like i don't need to like wait for someone else or consult with someone else about what i'm going to be doing in the next five minutes or two minutes or tomorrow like this is just me myself and i <laughs> just deciding what it is i want to do when i want to do it and how i'm gonna do it so i guess that's a good thing that's a perk of traveling solo you just literally on your own time okay so guys i decided to get dressed put some makeup on put on my little three-piece bikini outfit i'm going outside i'm gonna go and get some pictures because i feel like i want to take the picture i want to post for my birthday on instagram i want to take that picture and that content today and i won't have to like stress about getting the picture and whatever and then trying to post it on my birthday so i'd rather do it in advance this is technically my birthday post outfit it's a bikini yes <laughs> because why not 37 and looking good hello 37 and looking good or whatever i am proud girl look what 37 looking like y'all Mm -hmm. look at it <laughs> no i'm playing but um yeah guys i'm gonna go and hit outside got dinner later on in the hotel this evening it's gonna be weird having dinner by myself but i'm, I'm about this life i'm about this solo travel life right now so i'm just gonna suck it up and do what i gotta do enjoy myself regardless okay enjoy my own company okay i am the bomb i have a great personality okay <laughs> i enjoy me okay <laughs> Let me show you guys my full get up. The bikini and cover up are all from Pretty Little Thing. I've got some slippers here that I'm going to wear with it. These big massive chunky slippers. These are actually too big for me. I got them in a UK size 4 but I'm a UK size 3. But I usually get a 4 in things that are like open toe. But these are like extra bigger than normal. So they are a bit big for me. However... They still work. Got these pearl sunglasses with my pearl A necklace. Got a waist bead on from Ghana Waist Beads. I think it's called on Instagram. I thought I'll add an extra touch to you know my outfit. Do you know what I mean? And yeah, this is it. And I'm good to go. And I thank the Lord. Hallelujah, Jesus. <laughs> Guys, tell me why there's a woman with her whole titties just out. Like her whole breast is just out. Like, why? <laughs> I'm just sitting here and now I'm seeing some random woman's breasts. For what reason? Why? <laughs> it is now about 6 o'clock. It's 6.23. I've been out here for a few hours. I've been taking pictures, got all my shots and my videos to post for my birthday in this outfit tomorrow. Um, I think like tomorrow I can be less like 
finicky about getting content i can just like more enjoy and relax and chill i've got dinner at 8 30 i think it was booked for the hotel gave me the time to come to dinner i think it's 8 30 or 8 15 i need to double check but i still have like a couple of hours before then so i don't know what i'm gonna do i think i'm just gonna go back to my room and maybe plan and organize what i'm gonna do tomorrow things that i want to do and see walk around the hotel as well and see where everything is because i legit have no idea where everything is i know there's another pool other areas and stuff like that that i need to check out so i'm probably gonna do all of that now but yeah i met these two lovely older mature ladies who are very like cool and down to earth i think they've had a couple of drinks as well well they let me know that they've had a couple of drinks so they were a little bit like you know but they were so sweet they were like oh make sure you enjoy yourself just don't forget to just enjoy if you need us in your pictures let us know we can help you to you know up your pictures and stuff like that like it's so funny um but yeah they were really really cute i hope i bump into them again at some point because they were actually seem quite fun to like chill with have a drink with and stuff like that like two older mature ladies they said they were in there one was 61 the other one was 57 or something like that but they look good like i was like whoa i thought you was like in your 40s but they look good i'm not gonna lie but um yeah they seem so lovely they're the ones that told me to come into this section here um because they were sitting in the two chairs over there and they were like oh just come in come inside i know you want to take nice pictures just come in and do your thing and i was like yeah thanks <laughs> but um yeah they were really really nice and i had two other ladies who were sitting here and they just left and they were nice as well they were like asking if they if i needed help to take my pictures and stuff like that and i was like don't worry i got it i got it i got it <laughs> um i have been asked if i'm here on my own and i kind of just said no that i'm waiting for my friends to arrive like they're coming so yeah but they did seem sweet i didn't think that they were dodgy or anything but you know you never know with these things so i'd as well be just like i gotta lie i gotta lie you know what i'm saying so yeah <laughs> So far today has just been me looking cute, getting my content for my birthday post tomorrow. The birds are really loud, wow. So nice. So yes, yeah, so I'm just here chilling by the pool, you know what I'm saying? Getting that tan in, you know what I'm saying? I'll show you what the pool looks like a bit more now that it's less busy. So there's this um, waterfall thingy we bob there. You know, these beds are like literally in the water. I actually want to do that, but not with this outfit <laughs> not with this bikini set i ain't trying to get wet today but um yeah we've got a massive pool here on this side and there's another pool somewhere else in fact let's go exploring this section i think is basically like reserved it's got the reservation tabs on there so the two older ladies i met were like oh just come inside don't worry the reservation times are over anyway so that's why i came in otherwise i would have had to reserve one of these in advance this pool is huge i still can't get over the lady that just had her titties out like just out just there i don't, I don't understand i feel violated that i've been forced to see someone else's breasts against my own will hello hi i've been seeing you from a while over there i was thinking to come over but now you're getting up it feels like it's all up oh <laughs> Are you okay? Yeah, I'm okay. You're Thank by you. Yourself? No, I'm with my friend. I just came to like take pictures and stuff while they've gone to do their own thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where are you from? London. London? Yeah. Uh -huh. Like Essex side? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The lies! Huh? How old are you? I'm going to be 37. Tomorrow, literally. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah. You Sorry? You know what the thing is? What? I'm 29 tomorrow. Oh, really? Oh, wow. That's mad. Really? Happy birthday, twin. <laughs> literally, <laughs> twinning. So, what are you doing for it? Um, well, we're gonna go to. Well, we're gonna see if we can find like a uh, somewhere to go in the evening. But I think during the day we're just gonna be hanging around by the other pool or go to the beach or something. Yeah. So we don't know yet. We're gonna decide this evening what exactly the plan is. We kind of just did a YOLO and just came. So yeah. The lies. There you the go. Lies. This bitch. The lies. Telling. I don't have Snapchat. <laughs> so underscore. Oh, can you help me to type it because I've got like my Wait, phone you're this bag. And all that. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I should have been doing. I forgot my camera. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, um, underscore, this is Amina. That yeah, one? yeah. All yeah. right, no problem. I'll follow you up. All right, no worries. Take you, care. Yeah. All right. Thanks. Oh, the gym is over here. So, we've got the gym here. It's like an outdoor gym situation going on. And then this is the pool where I was just 
at this pool area. There's this nice cute green seated section here. It's actually windy. Okay. <sighs> The wind is winding, chat. The hotel is literally just on the beach. So I might, well, I'm just figuring, okay, there's some sandy bits over there, sandy bits over there, because this bit here is like pure rocks. So I might have to go somewhere over that side if I want to go on a beach. But guys, it's so windy. Look at the palm trees just blowing. And then this right here is the infinity pool. In here is cute. Guys, look at this. Okay, they've got this bit out here. And then they've got these, this cute bit here, these cute colored chairs. Oh wow, this is cute. This is very cute indeed. And we've got the bar here. Through there is the hotel entrance and reception. Can't believe that I'm yet to order a cocktail. I need to order a cocktail. If I don't drink cocktails tonight, I don't know who I am. <laughs> Definitely need to order a cocktail. It's actually really pretty here. Chilled, not too busy not too loud it's a vibe i've got a really nice blue bikini that i think will look nice at that infinity pool area with the sarong might do that so nice i've got these nice stairs going down but i don't want to take the lift come on son come through my hair's so messy i need to wash it see then just through here it is my room had dinner in the buffet restaurant i didn't expect that i was gonna feel awkward sitting at dinner by myself because i've been on a holiday before where maybe i've gone down to breakfast earlier than my friends or people i'm with and they come and join me later or i quickly go and have breakfast and i go off to go to the gym or something like that and those times have not felt as awkward as it did today for some reason like i didn't expect to feel awkward eating by myself because i feel like i've eaten by myself before even if other people come and join me during me eating that meal I, i've still technically eaten by myself for like you know a bit but it's just like i just felt like people were staring at me i could just tell from the way they were looking at me that they were wondering is this girl by herself and plus it probably doesn't help that i'm literally the only black person i've seen other than the black guy that was talking to me at the pool so maybe that's probably also why i'm sticking out like a sore thumb because i'm by myself i'm black and i'm a woman and i'm dark skinned so yeah <laughs> a lot a lot as in like everyone here or most people here are onion bowls a little bit spicy onion bowls just onion bowls you know so yes, I'm hoping that I don't bump into that guy again while I'm here because it's going to be so awkward because I literally just told him that I'm here with friends and then he's going to clock that I'm actually here by myself because if you bump into each other again and I'm still by myself, it's going to be, it's going to be like, girl, you're not with a group of friends, you're here by yourself just like me. I think that's what he's going to be thinking if he sees me again and I'm by myself. I'm going to try and avoid seeing everyone that I saw today that asks me if I'm here by myself. Because they're going to know that I'm lying. 
Oh my gosh, but I guess they'll understand why I lied, I guess. I guess, especially the women. I think they will understand, you know. But um, yeah guys, the first day solo tripping. I feel good. I feel, I feel, I don't know, I don't know how I feel. I don't know how I feel in terms of the fact that I'm here by myself. I feel like, I mean, one major thing is that I've just been able to just do what I want to do. Like, I don't have to think about if I'm holding anyone up or if I'm wasting anyone else's time or if I'm taking too long or if anyone's waiting for me or if someone else wants to go and do something else that's different to what I'm doing right now or having to check on other people, having to check on this person, having to... Like, it's just... You're, the only person you need to think about is yourself. Like, literally. And that's been the probably the biggest weirdness, the weirdest thing is that you're not thinking about anyone else you're just thinking about yourself and what you want to do next and how long you want to do what you want to do for and you know just going at your own pace and doing your own thing and i think that's a really positive thing to take from a solo trip so far just moving at your own pace and not having to worry about anyone else that you're with having to take on board to other people and i guess that's probably why a lot of people get comfortable being single because it's like the only person you need to think about is yourself as soon as you get into a relationship you have a whole other human being that you need to think about and consider and talk to and entertain and go out with and make effort with like it's just it's work it's literally work <laughs> I mean, it's a good thing. Relationships are great and they're beautiful, but they actually work. I can definitely see why being single can be very comfortable. Don't need to like take on board a partner's opinions or thoughts or wants or needs. Like, it's just you. <laughs> it's just you doing you, you know? I haven't planned anything to do for my birthday tomorrow other than use the jacuzzi on a balcony. I was gonna go on this camel ride thing that I saw online when I was doing my research of activities to do in Lanzarote. Um, and a lot of them are like volcano trips, volcano day trips or um, camel riding or doing all this like water sports kind of stuff. And to be honest, like the camel riding, I did think and contemplate, maybe I can do that. That would be nice. I've never been on a camel before. I've been on a horse but not a camel but honestly guys I don't know if I'm even in the mood to do any activities on this solo trip I don't want to do any activities I don't think I've got the energy to do any activities I think I'm more on the vibe of relaxing you know I just feel like I just want to relax I don't want to be gallivanting up and down i mean i don't mind walking around and exploring and looking at shops and you know all that kind of stuff and walking up and down looking at the scenery and all that stuff i don't mind doing that kind of thing but doing excursions i don't think that's the vibe i'm on for this solo trip i think i just want to use this time to just chill although i'm like trying to get content as well <laughs> And I'm still in work mode. Listen, when you're influencer, you never stop working when it comes to content creating. Your mind is constantly ticking. As a content creator, your mind is constantly ticking. Your mind is constantly thinking of new concepts, new content to create based on your environment and your surroundings. And that's what my brain is doing. And I'm trying my best to like not be so focused on getting content and actually enjoying my time here but sometimes it's hard to like just switch off and just not try and get content for something you know <sighs> anyway i don't think i'm gonna do any activities i think i'm just gonna have a chill time actually what i do want to do for my birthday tomorrow is order myself a cocktail maybe two cocktails and just chill in the jacuzzi i think that's what i'm gonna do just relax reflect i'm gonna play some music vibes by myself you know just just vibes and then maybe i'll go to the infinity pool after that and you know take some pictures there if i change my mind about the camel thing i might try and do it on wednesday instead <laughs>
But yeah, guys, let me go and wash off this makeup, child. See you guys in the morning. Hi, <laughs> what kind of song is that? <laughs> I, mean, I don't sing on people's birthdays. I just give them a warm, happy birthday. I just feel on flight for the new today. I feel the same, really. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, date them is a bit of a random number. Oh, my God. So you can tell 40, I don't know what I'm going to do. What do you mean, you don't know what you're going to do? <laughs> Wait, when, you, when you turn 40, I'll be 21. So isn't that too, like... Oh, that's a bit... Oh, that's true. So wait, the year that I turn 40, you're turning 21? I think so, because you turn 37 when I'm 19. 38. Oh, wait, no. No. No, I'll be 39 and you're turning 21. No. What? Or maybe. This year you're 37 and I'm 19. And then next year you're 38 and I'm turning 20. Then you're after that, you're 39 and I'm turning 21. Yeah, that's what yeah. I just said. <laughs> I'm just connected to the school Wi Fi, so it might start cutting out and stuff. But make sure you don't take fresh strangers and have a good day. Alright, then, love. Thanks, mum. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to say happy birthday to an icon, a bad bitch, a boss bitch, a diva in a good way, a God-fearing queen, an inspiration. Happy birthday, girl. I hope you are having a great time. Girl, happy birthday. I hope you have a really, 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 really great day. Doing exactly what you want to do on your own terms, baby girl. And I hope that this brand new year brings you everything your heart desires. And may it be one of your best, most memorable years ever, girl. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear me. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> Happy birthday, sir! Ta da! What? 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 Happy birthday! You woke up with sunshine on your face, with happiness in your heart. I pray that God will continue to bless you and to expand you and to order your steps. That doors will be open this year, that you will have a clearer vision of where you're going in life what you want to do and that God will continue to bless the work of your hands and give you more opportunities to live life, have love and laugh a lot. Have the best, 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 best birthday and have some peace and quiet and time reflection with our good Lord Jesus Christ. <laughs> love you. Happy birthday to me. Guys, oh my gosh, I've just been so overwhelmed with everyone messaging me on Instagram, Twitter, and obviously my friends and family who have my phone number and have been messaging me, leaving me voice notes. And uh, guys, I just feel so blessed and grateful. I woke up this morning just so thankful to God for life like honestly to be able to celebrate another year another chapter in your life is honestly a blessing regardless of anything but yeah guys i am so happy and so glad that i've been able to like just come away and just enjoy my day i've not actually done much today to be honest with you all i've done since you guys saw me loading up the jacuzzi did i even go in the jacuzzi no i didn't i put the water in the jacuzzi and got the bubbles going and then i was thinking should i put some bath salts in there or I don't know what I wanted to put in there I don't know but I put it on and then I ended up doing a Instagram reel for like my hair because I put my hair up in pink curls this morning and I thought you know what I want to do an Instagram reel just showing how my hair turns out so I ended up doing that why did that take me half of the day like why did that take me hours to do like I don't understand but I actually really enjoyed doing it and I was thinking to myself I just come to the realization that I I genuinely enjoy creating content so if I've spent half the day doing that on my birthday then do you know what I love it I love it do you know what I mean I love it because I'm doing something that I actually enjoy doing and I want to do like it's my birthday I'm gonna do what I want to do okay <laughs> I've been just reading everyone's messages replying to as many people as I can I was playing music I was dancing I was just literally just vibing the whole day in my room and just enjoying myself and just thanking God so now I've just gotten changed 
change into this pink bikini it's actually five o'clock right now since i've been inside the hotel room all day i thought let me pop out find a spot to chill i definitely 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 need to get myself a cheeky cocktail okay it can't be my birthday if i've not had a cocktail do you know what i mean so i'm gonna go to the bar by the pool and get myself a lovely sweet cocktail to enjoy and then i'm gonna come back change and then go to dinner i don't know whether i should just go to the buffet restaurant dinner like i did yesterday or if i should actually go out and go somewhere to eat i'm gonna see i'm gonna see because there's so many bars and restaurants around some of them aren't open because i think it's probably still off season but there's so many things around i went to the corner shop earlier today to buy a big bottle of water and the corner shop is literally just right outside the hotel this location of the hotel is amazing for everything that you need so i'm gonna see if there's somewhere nice i can go to this evening maybe if there's somewhere that plays music i don't know what is available to me on a tuesday in lanzarote do you know what i mean in terms of music and dancing and shaking a leg so i don't know let me quickly head out see what's popping get myself my cocktail and continue to enjoy the rest of my birthday okay <laughs> go ahead and fish your birthday get up and fish your birthday get up and fish your birthday get up and fish your birthday hi <laughs> Yes, I'm good, I'm good. good. Yes, I did, I did. Oh, <laughs> no. If you don't mind being in my vlog, I've already been speaking to them about you guys. So guys, uh, these are the two lovely ladies that I was telling you about yesterday that I met by the pool. Looking absolutely gorgeous. <laughs> guys, you wouldn't gorgeous believe, you wouldn't, you wouldn't. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, okay. They look so good. <laughs> Thank you so much. Bye. That's my room. Oh, thank you. Oh my gosh. Guys, I was literally just trying to take a picture right outside my room and I saw this lovely lady coming with. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's so cute. It's from the manager. Wow, this is so cute. Thank you so much. Oh. Dolce, okay, okay, okay. I'll be drinking from both glasses. <laughs> go, 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 shorty. It's your birthday. We gon' party like it's your birthday. We gon' sip for Cardi like it's your birthday. <laughs>
wearing this um, cute super dry mini dress here perfect dress for going out and about somewhere on a sunny day just a cute little do you know what i mean that's basically what i'm doing at the moment literally just trying to get my content work done Can you imagine guys i'm on my birthday holiday and i'm still working it is so sunny and hot but it's so freaking I don't know who told me to go and open that bottle um yeah i'm going to dinner now because i need to eat something to soak up all the alcohol in my system and you guys know i am the biggest lightweight right but i managed to get all of my content done that i wanted to do today all my work done and i just basically like was just chilling in my room playing music opened my bottle of wine champagne whatever it is yeah dolce and was drinking that and then all of a sudden like i'm just like what the hell's going on i feel dizzy it's so strong and i think i didn't realize that obviously i haven't eaten anything since breakfast this morning so my lightweight ass is feeling the alcohol right now i i'm just gonna go eat some food get some water because i finished my water bottle and try and get myself together because when i get back i need to pack when i get back i need to pack when i get back i need to pack and that's on that <laughs> hey i might start rapping i might start my rap career i'm by myself I'm by myself in another country, in another country, solo tripping, so I cannot be tipsy, okay? So I'm going to get it together. It was my birthday yesterday, my birthday again today, but it's okay. We're going to get it together, okay? I'm a child of God. I'm a child of God. I got to get it together, okay? So that's what I'm finna do. That's what I'm finna do. We got to get it together, okay? 
we gotta get it together i love you guys guys i really really love you guys thank you so much for all your birthday messages i've had such a lovely birthday honestly my 37th birthday has been amazing oh it's been amazing it's been amazing i've really really enjoyed myself i had so much fun just enjoying my own company thank you for all your messages like guys honestly i appreciate all your support i just really appreciate you guys like honestly watching my videos watching my vlogs commenting liking my pictures on instagram even though instagram's trying to be a hater and not allow the algorithm to work in my favor guys thank you so much because being a content creator you guys supporting me and helping me is what helps me to book those jobs with brands and be able to pay my bills be able to look after my child and be able to live do you know what i mean just like everyone else that has their own job and their own careers honestly i thank you guys so much god bless you guys god bless you guys whatever struggles you're going through whatever issues you're facing in your life i pray that god will do something so miraculous and so so breakthrough so breakthroughing if that's i don't know if that's a word but i pray for the breakthrough in your life a very serious note i know that i'm a bit tipsy right now but god knows that i'm very serious right now like in jesus name god will bless you abundantly just say amen just say amen forget the imagery you're seeing right now listen to the words listen to the prayer in jesus name god will bless you abundantly abundantly in every aspect of your life whatever struggles you're facing god will deal with them in jesus name and give you breakthrough freedom deliverance answered prayers in jesus name <laughs> i've got fish chicken prawns prawn whatever this is couscous vegetables garlic bread potatoes and i've got my dessert here cakes and different ice creams and a sprinkle of breadcrumbs i don't know what that is i don't know or is it peanuts i don't know what that is but i've literally just got a random selection of just stuff from the buffet the buffet looks really nice everything tastes good so i'm just gonna eat this hey guys oh my gosh guys i am feeling so much better this morning <laughs> That wine, that wine, it was only 12%. I don't understand, like it's 12%. Am I that much of a lightweight? Like is it because I turned 37 that all of a sudden I just cannot, I cannot. Like literally, I went to breakfast, had some toast, like bread, like things to like make me feel a bit better, I guess. I was drinking lots of water, I had some lemon water as well. And I feel good, I had some coffee in my system. I'm all packed up because today is the last day. Checkout is very soon, but I paid extra for the room with the jacuzzi, so I better use it. So that's what I'm doing right now, guys. I got everything Everything set up. Look at it. I got the bubbles going. Got my fruits from breakfast. And then I've got this dreaded demon drink. <laughs> I'm not drinking this because it's too much, but it's there for decoration, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? So I'm just gonna spend the rest of my time in the hotel room till I need to check out in the jacuzzi. Then I'm gonna have to drop my bags off at the reception and then go chill by the pool because my flight is not till later on. So I don't really have anything else to do until later on. So I'm just gonna be chilling. I've got my swimsuit on one. I'm gonna take some cute pictures in my jacuzzi. You know what I'm saying? Do a couple of videos. The jacuzzi is busting, okay? I'm so tempted to order myself a cocktail, but guys, 
I, I need to just not be drinking alcohol, right? I, I feel like my body's telling me that alcohol is not it for me. But I just love cocktails and right now, a cheeky cocktail would be great. Do you know what I mean? Like, a nice, cheeky, chill cocktail would be amazing. And I think I deserve it. Do you know what I mean? I think I think I deserve it. <laughs> Guys, I forgot to show you that I received this little gadget from this brand called Ashley. And it's like a little gadget that you can use for safety reasons if you're by yourself at night time or if you're in any kind of danger emergency alarm thing this is like a really good thing to have when you are away on your own these are the instructions basically it's a deterrent you can attach it to your bag or attach it to your keys but yeah so i brought this along with me for me to go it's the end of my solo birthday trip and honestly guys i've had an amazing time i've had a great time just getting away i definitely recommend solo trips be as safe as you can obviously but i think everyone should try and experience a solo trip at some point in their lives i think it's a really good way to just get away in another country explore do your own thing and just enjoy your own company i really really enjoyed myself okay my transfer is here bye that's a lot take off speech <laughs> oh my mask Lovely lady. 